Good morning, world. Hello, everyone, everywhere. Pastor Robert Thibodeau here. Welcome to another Prayer 2021 session. Today is March 25th. The scripture reading for today is from Romans chapter 12, verse 12. Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. Let's go to the Lord with a word of prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this day, this day that you created before the worlds began, that our eyes have never seen before. Father, we pray this day that we be able to impact someone somewhere with teaching today, with prayer, and Father, that they would receive Jesus as their Savior. And that's the bottom line. And Father, we give you all honor and glory and praise for all that you will do in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Now, we've been talking about believing when you, you receive, when you pray. I want to emphasize, though, that believing is different from hoping. Okay? We have expressions we use about praying that are really not in the Bible. Okay? These are expressions man has made up along the way. For example, we don't have to fight our way through to the answer. We don't have to bombard the gates of heaven with prayer. We believe our way through. Amen? Prayer is not the struggle that many people would have you believe it is. Prayer is a matter of simply acting on God's word. It is a matter of choice to simply believe God's word. I mean, certainly we need to stand our ground against the devil. No argument there, no doubt about it. But we call this the good fight of faith. It's not the fleshly battle. It is a good fight because if we are standing on the word of God in faith and in God's word, we win. That's, it's already been recorded. We win. Amen? Sometimes when I'm ministering and I have people come forward for prayer, as I'm walking the line, laying hands on people, praying for them, people be praying you know, while waiting for me to, to make my way to them. Every now and then, I'll walk up to someone and just ask them what they're praying about. And I've had more people than I can count look at me with that quizzical look on their face and say something like, well, nothing really in particular or you know, something along those lines, my response is always the same. As soon as I hear that, my response is the same. Well, that's exactly what you're going to receive, nothing in particular. And you know, then they're shocked, right? Because I mean, it sounds harsh, but folks, the devil has had people deceived for so long. Many people don't know right from wrong about prayer anymore. And that's the purpose of this year-long study that we're doing about all things prayer. Amen. Don't shut me down when I'm preaching good. You know it too. We may have, you may have done these things before in the past, just going into your prayer time, praying nothing in particular, right? You're just checking the block so you can feel good about, about your time in prayer today. Well, you may as well have gone fishing. In fact, at least if you've gone fishing, you may have caught something that you can eat because your prayers were meaningless. Now, we covered before that, that you can receive your prayers as answered as soon as you pray them. That's what Jesus taught. The caveat, though, is that you have to pray for something specific. Amen. Jesus said you can have the answer as soon as you pray. You can have what you believed for, what you prayed for. He did not say you had to pray all night long. He did not say you had to bombard the gates of heaven until you have a breakthrough. I mean, that, that's one of the, I'll just say it, it's one of the dumbest prayer expressions that there is that we've come up with. I mean, think about it like this. The Bible says the new heaven, new earth, new Jerusalem is what? You know, a thousand miles square. Actually, it's a cube, right? It's a thousand miles one way, lengthwise, and height, all right? So you're standing outside praying and praying and praying about bombarding the gates of heaven with your prayers. You're 500 miles away from the throne room of heaven, right? So think about this now. Where is Jesus at? He's at the right hand of God, right? 500 miles away from where you are standing, praying and throwing spiritual bombs at a gate that is already open to you. Okay, how dumb does this sound so far? Oh, it gets even better, I guarantee it. We, where are we supposed to be seated? Right next to Jesus, right? Don't we have permission already to approach God's throne of grace and mercy at any time? In Jesus' name? Why are you standing 500 miles away 
lobbing bombs at a gate that's already open, and your bombs are causing all the angels just to laugh at your spiritual foolishness, right? When you could just walk through the gates anytime you want, walk into the throne room anytime you want, sit down next to Jesus anytime you want, and pray directly to the Father in the name of Jesus anytime you want, and receive your prayers as answered, and get this, at any time you want. Instead, we're standing 500 miles away, lobbing our little prayers at a gate that's already open, and the angels are just rolling on the ground laughing at you. Oh, don't shut me down when I'm preaching good. You know exactly what I'm talking about because you've done it before, right? I hope you're getting this today. I want to pray with you right now that you would just stop this spiritual man-made foolishness and these ideas of how to pray and how to get your prayers answered and that you just start to pray the way God intended for you to pray to him in the name of Jesus and then stand on the belief that he is going to answer your prayers. Amen. Which means, so be it. I mean, how simple has he made it? We are the ones who have made it difficult. Let's go to the Lord with a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. We come boldly to your throne room of grace and mercy this day, seeking grace, finding mercy to help in our time of need. Father, we thank you and praise you for answered prayer in Jesus' name. We pray for the forgiveness of our spiritual dumbness and thinking that prayer was all this other stuff. Prayer is simply the communication channel you have established so we have a direct line to your throne room in, by, and through our Savior, our Lord, Christ Jesus. And Father, we thank you that someone's mind and heart somewhere today grasped the meaning behind today's teaching. And they'll stop all this foolishness. And Father, we give you honor and glory and pray, praise in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Glory to God. Do me a favor. Leave, you know, we're live on Facebook, live on YouTube. You just give those little thumbs up heart signs and stuff. That just tells the algorithms that they need to share these things a little bit farther and wider. Amen. It helps us get the word out into all the earth. And be sure to visit our website, podcastforchrist.com. Take a look around. That free resource is right there for the take it, folks. If you are thinking of starting a Christian podcast, get that free resource. It tells you all the steps that you got to go through. And it's absolutely free. How to start a Christian podcast over at podcastforchrist.com. All right. Until next time, this is Pastor Bob Till reminding you from 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 17 in the Living Bible to always keep on praying. Be blessed, folks. We'll talk again tomorrow. Be blessed in all that you do.